In the City of London on February the 26th, 1995, one of the greatest financial disasters of the century was announced to an astonished world. Britain's oldest merchant banks had collapsed with debts of almost a billion pounds. How could Baring's Bank, founded in 1762 and counting the Queen among its customers, possibly go bust? As anxious staff arrived at headquarters to hear their fate, the rest of the city tried to digest the significance of it all, and a chill of panic spread through its account holders. Charities in particular were in serious trouble. Centrepoint, who looked after the homeless in the capital, stood to lose tens of thousands. At least 16 major charities had their money invested with the bank. What could have been safer? After all, the royal family were account holders. The Prince of Wales Trust, the Queen's Silver Jubilee Trust, the Baptist Church, the National Arts Collection Fund, all had money at bearings. So where had it gone? This was the man responsible, Nick Leeson, a 28-year-old trader working and living in Singapore. Leeson was involved in the derivatives market, betting on whether the future value of stocks, bonds, interest rates, securities and the like would rise or fall. Fortunes could be made if you got it right. Fortunes could be lost if you didn't. Leeson got it wrong by placing massive bets in Japan, hoping that the Tokyo market would rise. Instead, it plummeted. In one day, Leeson lost bearings of 180 million pounds. Back in Singapore, life for Leeson and his wife had been rosy. The young men and women who understood the intricacies of the Far Eastern stock markets could live lifestyles envied by their colleagues in London. Bearings encouraged their young trader with more and more money. And from his smart home in one of Singapore's classier areas, he sank deeper and deeper into debt. Eventually, the bank discovered that Leeson's dealings had cost them more than 800 million pounds, almost the total assets of the bank. On the Singapore market, rumors spread of fraud, collusion and mismanagement. Leeson fled, but was finally extradited from Germany and put on trial, charged with forgery and fraud. He was sentenced to six and a half years in jail. As for bearings, it was eventually sold for just one pound, brought to its knees by 28-year-old lad from a Watford council estate.